Hey fellow Lyric Runs, I'm Clifford Zombie, the Pop Song Professor, and welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome by explaining, creating, sometimes roasting song lyrics. Today we're talking about Zanny by Billie Eilish. She just dropped a new music video for it. There's a lot to go over here. Uh, but essentially, this, the, the, the core message of the song has to do with drug abuse, but it's more than that. Billie has explained the song lyrics in a couple of places, but I want to really talk about the imagery in the music video. If you've seen the music video, which if you haven't, you should stop now, go watch it, and come back. Otherwise, this might not make sense. Uh, but essentially, she looks like she's in a padded room. Uh, she's sitting on this bench. It looks like it's inside. The bench looks padded. The wall behind her looks padded. Seems to be a reference to mental illness. Uh, and then as she's sitting there singing, it's all one shot. She's just sitting there singing. She's the director of this video. All of a sudden, hands come out from the sides of the screen with cigarettes and just burn her face. And they make burn marks on her face. And there's probably, by the end of it, like... 12, maybe more different burn marks just spread across her face. And at the very end, she gets up, she walks out, and this puff of smoke comes from the side. Now, I think for Billie Eilish, the song feels like it has a very deep personal significance. From what I've read in a few interviews, she has had friends that I think she's saying she has lost to drug abuse. Zanny being one of the most popular ones being pushed by SoundCloud rappers right now. Uh, but she's not just talking about Zanny. She is also talking about cigarettes. She's talking talking about alcohol. Uh, we're gonna get to the music video imagery in a second, but for now, um, hear what she's saying in these verses and the, the lyrics in the chorus. I'm in their secondhand smoke, which, interesting fact, go listen to the song. She actually wanted the music kind of that brrr, sort of like singing into the fan noise sort of bass to represent or feel like being in somebody's secondhand smoke. So that's actually pretty cool. She continues, still just drinking canned Coke. I don't need a Zanny to feel better on designated drives home. Only one who's not stoned, don't give me a Zanny now or ever. So it's this very strong anti-drug sentiment. She's not stoned, she's not you know, smoking a cigarette, she's not doing Zanny, she's not doing any of this stuff. Um, there's, the, you know, and so on that level, it feels very straightforward. You know, it's saying like, hey, don't do drugs. And a lot of times, lyrics like that, songs like that, don't do well. It just comes across as preachy or saying like, hey, I'm better than you because I figured out the things not to do. Now that's not usually the case with people in this situation, uh, but Billie Eilish had to walk a fine line, otherwise she would sound like she wasn't singing a song, but was instead giving a PSA. And you've probably heard songs like that where you're like, Oh, they're telling me how to live my life instead of just writing a dang song. But for Billie, I think that this song actually means something for her. She refers in some interviews to having possibly lost friends to drug abuse. The performance helps mediate some of the preachiness. But the part that gets really interesting, there's a couple of parts, and I believe they're both in the bridges. Uh, or in the verses. So she says, what is it about them? I think referring to her friends or to the drugs. I must be missing something. They just keep doing nothing. Too intoxicated to be scared. Think about that. They just keep doing nothing. Too intoxicated to be scared. And you would think from all the things we've heard from Billy, everything she's talked about, it's a lot of mental health. She's shown us a lot of terrifying images in her music videos, whether it's spiders or her becoming a spider, all this crazy stuff. But here she's saying these people are too intoxicated to be scared. And so you would think, well, based on what we know of Billy, wouldn't she want to not be scared? Wouldn't taking drugs so that she could escape from all of that for a moment, seem like something she would want to do. And she, I think, makes this a much more powerful statement by, by being who she is and saying this, by putting that line in there, that's the key line. She is, even, even as scared as she might be, the nightmares that she might have, the things that she thinks about, she still thinks that her life would be worse off, even if she was too intoxicated to be scared, because she says, better off without them, they're nothing but unstable, bring ashtrays to the table, and that's about the only thing they share. She's looking for more healthy and positive ways to better herself and to work through the difficult situations regarding mental health that she's in. So, lyrics, super interesting, keep listening to those. Um, there's not a whole bunch more. She just basically describes, you know, other situations in which they are doing drugs or she's the one who's the designated driver, she's the only one who's not stoned, things like that. Um, saying, you know, I don't understand why this is so great. You all seem either miserable or out of your minds. Uh, and those are all fair points. Then we look at the music video itself and there's a lot of imagery going on here. Well, you know, honestly, I would probably walk that back a little bit and say there's very focused imagery. There's a few specific things. One, Billie Eilish seems like she has, you know, semi-naturally colored hair in this music video. I don't know that we need to draw a ton of 
of something from that, but at the very least, it seems to be showing a sign of vulnerability and kind of taking off the outer shell, being who you are for a moment, and we can uh, you know, expect that these lyrics in her performance are coming from her heart as a result. The next big thing is that she's kind of in this padded room, right? And I think that has to do with sort of like reminding us of the mental health theme that we see throughout her music. And so what she's talking about comes from the context of who she is and who she is struggles with mental health. Uh, and then finally, the cigarette burns on her face. I think with those, the imagery could be much deeper than this. There could be more to it. And I would love to see an interview with Billie Eilish. Or Billie, if you're watching this, I'd love to interview you about this and many of your other songs, how you construct them. Uh, but I think the basic idea is, you know, maybe we can just take this very surface level. She keeps getting burned. She keeps getting burned by these substances. They are not something that you're really able to control. At, a, at some point, they start hurting you as you're using them. Um, and I think she's really raising this question of like, these things harm people, and so why do they keep them around them? Look at me in this video, I'm dealing with things already, uh, and I'm being vulnerable here for a moment, and I am still being hurt by these things, and she's being hurt by them through her friends who might use them, or people she knows and who she cares about. Uh, but I think it raises, she's raising a bigger question of, why would you have these things close to you when they can hurt you? Um, and at the end, as she walks off, we see what I assume to be, uh, you know, a second-hand puff of smoke coming in from the side to sort of emphasize that fact and just say, hey, look, this smoke doesn't look good, right? It's almost scary. It's almost like a scary fog machine or something. Uh, but it's, it's questionable. It's something that we don't want to just say, all right, let's go and do it without thinking. Let's just uh, take this on. Uh, and, and Billy kind of underscores this in an interview article. Um, she says at one point, she says it's not so much a, a don't do drugs kind of message. It's actually deeper than that for her. She says the song's message is less don't do drugs, it's more be safe. And I think that's part of what saves the whole thing from being preachy. Is she's not just coming out there and attacking substances, which is a fine message, but doesn't always make an interesting song. Um, and she's saying it's more about caring for people and saying like, hey, look, I'm questioning whether I should do something like this too. Maybe you should as well. And I think it's a cool song. I think it's a cool music video. I would really like to hear what you guys have to say about it. Um, Billie Eilish obviously doing a phenomenal job with the things that she creates. Stepping out into directing this is really cool. And yeah, yeah, she deserves all the fans she has, guys. Go ahead and check out these videos explaining songs by Billie Eilish as well, or music videos. I hope that you enjoy those. And let me know what your favorite Billie Eilish video is down below. Thanks for talking and watching, and see ya.